Hello YouTube, and on today's video, I found something really cool on eBay. That is an aftermarket Nintendo GameCube controller shell. So, for a long time now on eBay, we've had third-party or aftermarket buttons that are actually super close to OEM level quality. And now, we're starting to get to aftermarket shells. But I have one question for these, and it's... If they're any good or if they are a dumpster fire, like they're aftermarket controller brothers. So, let's find out today, YouTube. Alright, so taking a look at the shell here. As you guys can tell, I got a clear one. They had several different colors available. Like they had blue, red, uh, black, and white, which are kind of standard colors. But, you know, it was really cool, though, because clear and blue and red aren't normal GameCube controller colors. In fact, I think the only pure blue GameCube controller is one of the Club Nintendo Special Editions or something like that. So, yeah, and meanwhile, a clear controller, these things, the original Nintendo ones, are worth hundreds of dollars on eBay. So, being able to buy, potentially... An aftermarket shell of one is really, really dang cool if this actually works. So, taking a look at the shell, though, it's looking like a pretty standard controller. Although, one thing that's interesting to me is on the back right here, it actually says GameCube on it. Which is super interesting because, for the most part, these aftermarket shells don't tend to say GameCube on it because they're afraid of legal ramifications from Nintendo and the other thing is this actually has some branding on it from a company called Controller Chaos now there is a online company that sells modded GameCube controllers for exuberant prices called Controller Chaos but I don't think they're affiliated with the, these Chinese sellers that I bought this off of but yeah, um, feeling around the controller though, it feels pretty good. It's got a matte finish, which is pretty nice. Um, and I, I wouldn't say it feels as good as an OEM uh, controller, but I would say it feels very nice. Con comparing it to one of its aftermarket brothers, it feels a lot better than this. Like, this... You know, you can flick it and you can just hear the empty space. This, if you flick it, you can hear the empty space, but that's because it's actually empty. Um, it actually feels substantial in the hands. So, in order to switch these controllers around, you're going to need a spare GameCube controller. Here I have this black one that I swapped the shells on, and this isn't in the best of shape. So, don't mind switching these shells around, so... I'm going to switch them around off screen and tell you guys how the process went and everything, how easy it was to install, and yeah, so I'll be right back after I do that. Alright, so I've gone ahead and I've done the install, I put in my OEM GameCube controller board, and it fit in pretty, you know, pretty fine and everything. I did throw in some of the aftermarket buttons just for that pop factor and everything. And so far everything's feeling pretty good, but you know what, I'm going to go test this with some games, we're going to play with this for a little bit, and I'll be back here to tell you guys if it's any good or- Alright, so, I kind of have a little bit of an embarrassing thing to admit here. Uh, while playtesting with this controller, I recorded a bunch of footage, but now that I'm recording audio and writing things out, I don't really have a ton to say about this GameCube controller clear aftermarket shell thing. Uh, it's a little bit embarrassing, but it's kind of unspectacular. I mean, so this thing is good. Okay, that's, that's the blunt of what I was going to say. This thing is good. It fits first party parts, which is really, really nice. And it's a way to modify GameCube controllers, which is really cool. They unfortunately aren't in the biggest color selection, like they only have red, blue, black, white, and clear, so and pink so far I think. So it's not the widest color solution, so that's a little lame. But for only 10 bucks, I think this is a really solid 
way to modify your GameCube controller shell because the alternatives are not cheap and for the most part they're also not very first party supportive so to speak because most of the alternatives are just third party shells that don't fit first party parts naturally so you have to modify them normally by yourself so yeah so i think for ten dollars i think overall this is a budget solution for wanting to customize your gamecube controller i think it's really cool i'm gonna let some more gameplay play out here just so that way you guys can maybe see a little bit more of what to expect i don't know and i'll be back on camera in i don't know a minute or so so i'll be right back So overall, do I recommend these clear Chinese GameCube controller shell replacement mod things? Um, overall, yeah, I think these are actually really solid. I thought the build quality was quite good. Uh, I, I love that it's actually compatible with OEM parts. And yeah, there's nothing I can really complain about. It's probably the funniest level of customization you can have with a GameCube controller right now because of certain reasons that I'll get into for another video but yeah overall I really like these uh, Chinese replacement shells for GameCube controllers they're only like 10 bucks so they're not too expensive uh, as well and yeah goodbye you guys so if you guys like this video like it down below comment subscribe all that good stuff all that wonderful stuff and peace